Hello everyone, this is Bharat Singla and welcome to Courtship. This is the one-stop destination for you to master competitive programming. Great, so let's get started. The problem that we will be discussing today is three points from Courtship's August 1st starters, only rated for Div 3. So this is a geometry based problem, let's see how it goes. So you are given three distinct points A, B, C three distinct coordinate points and you are initially at position A, you want to reach position B and you have to go through point B. And the constraint is that you can only turn once at most in your journey. So starting from A, you have to go via B and you can turn at most once. So if you're going up first, then only once can you turn left or right and then you have to keep going in that direction. Or it could be that you don't even make any turn but at max one bend in your journey and you have to tell given ABC whether it's possible to navigate such a path so there's not much in the problem this is a great problem really simple short one so let's see the solution approach okay so the problem basically boils down to finding a path from A to C that on which B lies and has at max one turn. Okay, so how do you do this? So imagine this is point A and this is point C. So what does a path that has one turn looks like? So it's something like this and then this, right? So this is one possible path in which we are only making one turn. The second is this, right? Can you think of any other path? Well, if I go from here, then turn here, then turn here, and then go here. So something like this has three turns. Okay, something like this has two turns. So clearly, if we are only allowed to make at max one turn, this, there will be about two paths, right? If they are not collinear, and if A and C, lie on the same line then there's only one path without any turn the straight line okay but so that in the end we don't have a lot of if conditions right this problem can easily be solved using a lot of conditions but i'll try to present the simplest and the cleanest approach so you can understand it better so we can again have conditions like if they are collinear or not but this again can be generalized into such a figure only where it forms a rectangle is that you first go up by zero units and then turn right. And the second path is you go down by zero units and then turn right. So again, this forms two different paths, although they are the same only, but this will help us generalize. So for any given, if I take these two points, right, so it will be this, right, this is one path and this is the second path. If I take these two points, then this is one path, this is the second path. Taking these two points, I have one path and the second path, right? So this always forms a rectangle. And now finally, all we have to check is if B, some other point lies on the, any of these four lines. So yes, this is the solution. This is uh, the complete approach. One thing that will cause issues in the code, in the implementation is that it's not necessary that A is on the bottom left and C is on the top right. No, it could be that this is A right and this is c or it could be that this is a this is c right in that case how will we check that if it lies on a rectangle so we cannot assume that one of them is the lower one and the other one is the greater one so in this case we follow a very standard approach that is to because the points are commutative right if there's a path from c to a there's also the same path from a to c so what we can do is we can first swap them in a way that we'll assume a solution that a is less than c or something like that and if it does not satisfy from the input then we can swap the two points right so that's something that we can do and you will understand that better from the c plus plus code great so the first thing i do is this is fast input output and here i have the number of test cases t and i call the solve function t times so in the solve functions, I first take the input for all the three points A, B, C, A to C via B. So then this is the magic line. 
this is that okay so i try to form all the four lines of the rectangle that will be formed so you have left so left is nothing but the minimum of the smaller x coordinate right the left of the rectangle right is nothing but the greater x coordinate top is nothing but the greater y coordinate and bottom is nothing but the lower y coordinate so this way i now have a defined rectangle the unique rectangle that is formed by a and c as the endpoints now because i am using min max everywhere this is commutative and it does not matter in which order are we given a and c is a lower than c is a to the left of c so the direction of rectangle will flip right but these lines help us to reduce the code length and simplify it then i have answer is initially false and i check that if the point lies on the top line of the rectangle b lies on the top of the rectangle or the bottom of the rectangle so this can be done by checking that if the x coordinate of b is between left and right and it is either the top or the bottom so this guarantees that if this is if this is met then this is then y then b point is on the top right because it is its y matches with the top of the rectangle and its x coordinate is between the left and the right of the rectangle so this is on the top in this case it is on the bottom right so that's how we check that if this matches that if y is on the top or the bottom of that rectangle the two paths then yes answer is true otherwise or instead no else condition i could also put an else condition here but doesn't really matter so then i check that if the y coordinate is between bottom and top if this is the case then i check that if the x coordinate matches with left so it means it's on the left line and its y is also between those bottom and top right or if the x is on the right so in this case also it lies on left or right or through this we check if it lies on top and bottom so this way finally answer will store if the point b lies on any of the four sides of the rectangle formed by a and c this is also based on a bit of geometry right so you can maybe uh, read about that as well finally based on the answer we output yes and no so that's it let's quickly run this and yes we get yes no yes no so is this correct let's copy it so we have yes no yes no so this works on the sample input let's see if it works on the hidden test files as well so let me quickly paste the code here and hit the submit button to get it evaluated by code chefs online judge and let's hope for an easy but before that till it's running i'm going to show you one thing that if you are not aware of then un that an academy also takes live online competitive programming dsa based classes so code chef educators teach through the platform of an academy and they take live problem solving sessions they teach you concepts like graphs dynamic programming tries and all that stuff so if you really want to sharpen your logic building in programming and want to see some sharp improvement in your rating then make sure to go for an academy's plus course and even without the course you can watch some of the free live classes that are educator stake and if you like them you can go for the plus course as well where you will get obviously much much more benefits like access to a discord server with a full community of more than 1000 people then you have the teaching assistants who are who will take your doubt 24/7 and much much more you get problem sets and all so you can opt for either of them if you are just registering to uh, attend some live classes then you can uh do that for free and if you are also going for the plus paid subscription then also you can use the code harak27 to get an instant 10% discount so hurry up guys this is the best investment that you can make so let's jump back so yes we do get it accepted and yep this is the code i'll also provide it provide it as the pinned comment so yes that wraps it up Thanks for watching.